we're going to build a desk for people to podcast. We did that a couple of years ago. It was really fun. Uh, they go live from like the uh, partner quad where everybody's kind of eating and chilling and shopping and uh, people can hear it. And it's also recorded. You should come down and podcast. Yeah, that would be awesome. You want to tell you a funny story. Um, so this year I applied for media credentials for the uh, CrossFit Games and um, I got them. They were nice enough to give them to me, but I didn't go. And Brian was there uh, working for CrossFit, but then he had a hiccup with his job, so he got um, he, he got released from his duties for CrossFit <laughs> on day one. So we had a lot of free time to do all that shit for the Sevon podcast, and we were murdering it, right? Me, Ryan, and Brian, and Met Susie, we were doing like four podcasts a day. I was on. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, that was one of our big ones, yes. I stopped in. And um, so since Brian was free, um, at one point he goes to this location. He's like, because he was doing them from the venue, and it was so fucking loud. And I'm like, and it was right before we are about to go live. I'm like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? You picked the worst location in the world. He goes, you'll never believe where I am. And I go, where? He goes, I'm in the area that the CrossFit Games has set up for people to do podcasts. <laughs> And I go, well, is anyone else there doing podcasts? It's unbelievably loud. He goes, no, I'm the only one. <laughs> and there, there was like 12 tables or six tables or something, this huge area. But they put it in Vendor Village, which made it completely unusable. It was like an echo chamber. And we didn't do the podcast from there. Brian went outside and just sat on a step or something. Um, but, yes, yeah, so, so that's cool. Is your, is your, are, are you suggesting that your location where you set up to your podcast is <laughs> – it has be the better. acoustics it, it does it will be it'll be better than that yeah we're outside we're outside too that that being inside that's probably made it tough uh, i didn't even see where that was actually I it thought, was a good well, idea it's a yeah, great idea it, it is it, it is like that um media you know we started that as like a media center idea we'll see where we get we, we, we'd like to build the desk for you know people you know uh the broadcast to be live from between workouts and a spot for people like yourselves to go live so it'll be fun do you think i could uh, do you have any good coffee vendors there we always do um you know it's it's been different every year like we've had you know black rifles been i think you know uh good dudes has come uh before i think they're coming back dan has a coffee company now god's country i'm sure they came to another event of us i think they're coming or should be there so he was, he was dan, at granite games yeah dan doesn't yeah. even drink coffee Oh, he does. he does. He does now. Well, yeah, he was involved in Good Dudes, and then you know he then. But started... I don't think he drank it when he was involved with Good Dudes, did he? He's a coffee drinker. All right, if you say so. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. 